Hello, I received a vision from our Lord Jesus on December 8th or 9th, which is either a Monday or Tuesday and I, in the morning, and I cannot remember which one it was. Um, it started off, so I'm looking through my notes, I can't remember exactly how it was anymore, but it started off with something flying but dark. So it could be a fallen angel, so just something flying and um, wings flapping, so this is, you know, so okay, well this vision, you know, this is a nice picture, so this will have to do. So something flying but dark. And then, so the next thing I saw were these, you know, st circles, you know, coming, you know, from the ground. Here, let's see. Okay, I drew over here. Like this is the contour of the land. So here's, you have half of the land is flat you know, going to the right, and the other part of the land is raised. So you have, you know, this part of the land is flat, and this part is raised like a curve this way. And so you, and so the vision first showed, you know, a circle starting from the center here, and just growing, and you just see many circles just start grow, 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 grow. You know, circles go into the left. And then you had at that same fault line, I'm thinking this is a fault line, I'm thinking this is an earthquake. You have, you know, the flat land and the raised land this way, and now you have circles, but starting from here, and then growing, and many circles, but going to the right. So that in the end, at that location, where you have flat land this way, and curved land this way, you have both of the circles, you know, starting from this point here and growing, going out this way, growing out this way. So already, just by looking at it, I can tell, yep, that must be an earthquake. But so, but still in the vision, you know, after the earthquake, you know, so here's, you know, some normal pictures, you know, we have the small circle and then growing, you know, many circles, you know, so from the center you just have, the, you know, the expansion of a bunch of circles. So here is a normal view of, um, you know, land where in the vision this was just flat and this was raised a little higher. And from the vision I could not tell if this was above land or if it was underwater. You know, so I could not tell that, you know, from the vision. Uh, the next part of the vision was, um, I wrote in the notes, I wrote funny yellow dog. And then I wrote uh, the word earthquake. So in other words, the, the dog had a balloon shape that came out of its mouth. You know, like whenever you have cartoons, it has a little balloon thing that comes out. And then the word earthquake was there. So in other words, this dog actually spoke and said the word earthquake. And I think that's what threw me. Because it's like, what? <laughs> How is an animal supposed to talk? Like, this is not Scooby-Doo, you know, this is just a dog, you know, it looked like a dog. Somehow, funny, yellow, I don't remember what it looked like anymore. I just, I, I'm just going by the notes. Um, I want to quickly go ahead and say, please make sure to have plenty of food and water stored up. Because uh, when the earthquake comes, you may say, well, I'm just going to drop by Kroger and get me some more food. Nope, not if the road is messed up. So, that's why it's good to have food and water, lots of cans saved up. Okay, uh, the next thing, let's see, oh I wanted to give the possibility that maybe if this is underwater, if this earthquake happens underwater, so here's, if it happens here and you have land going woof like that, then this is where you may end up with a tsunami. And uh, a lot of people are thinking of, oh uh oh, tsunami at New York, so yeah, you never know. Let's see. Okay, I want to move my mouse. I want to refer you to uh, the book of Revelations, chapter 8. This is a website called Bible.com. And for this particular one, I am referring to the New King James Version for the book of Revelations. And the reason is that um, in the New King James Version that they have, they're pretty good at putting little titles for the different sections. So if your uh, revelation has, um, let's see, they have seven seals, which then go to seven trumpets, which then go to the seven bowls of wrath. 
and the New King James Version is pretty good at labeling so then you'll be able to know well where are we and so you'll see where you are so this is in the seventh seal section where's the mouse? Where's the, okay here it is and so we're going to start reading so Revelation chapter 8 then the angel took the censer filled with fire from the altar and threw it to the earth and there were noises, thunderings, lightnings and an earthquake so the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound so it could be that the earthquake that was in the vision could be right before the first trumpet so uh, so this could be a warning expect the earthquake and um, when it comes to let's see up oh, I don't have it Oops. now let, let me see if I could find it again I'm gonna go to Google sorry for this delay let's see mice where am I mice and then human Cells. There we go. Um, I saw an episode of uh, Pastor Paul Begley, and what they're doing is, uh, and so Pastor Paul, he's out this week because he's having throat surgery, or he already had it, and so his wife took over for him that particular week, and so I want to say, you know, I hope Pastor Paul has a complete recovery. You know, I hope uh, other people can pray for Pastor Paul. But so they're actually doing testing where they are putting brain cells into mice. And this is a nightmare. Because <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, and then this reminded me of the part of the vision where the dog said earthquake. So it's like, great, they're going to put human cells into dogs. And now dogs are going to actually talk like Scooby-Doo. Uh, you know, I guess maybe this is when God says, okay, enough's enough. Time for the trumpets. So... <laughs> So we'll see what happens. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, but yeah, let's pray. Uh, I think the last thing is just, yeah, let's make sure to repent every single day. And also to say, Lord, Lord Jesus, please clean our hearts. You know, make us white as snow. And also, please fill our hearts with the Holy Spirit. If we have the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, then we will definitely be on our way to the rapture. Our Lord Jesus will take you if you have the Holy Spirit. So ask for those three things every day. Repent, clean your heart, Holy Spirit. We're good to go. Thanks everyone and God bless.